Okay, ladies and gents, <clears throat> here's uh, another review of another Commodore 64 device. This time it's called an SD2 IEC. And what I actually ordered is the electronic component that's within this plastic case. And it has a ribbon cable which plugs into the um, 1541 disk drive port and it also has a small cable that comes off that ribbon cable for the power and that plugs into the tape port. So what does this device do? Well it acts like a 1541 disk drive. Before I show you how it works, uh, if you're wondering about the case, the case is actually um, a Raspberry Pi case. I ordered one before I ordered my Raspberry Pi thinking I wasn't going to get a case with it um, and I ordered it from this Mod My Pi uh, website it's only about seven quid but I'm getting a Raspberry Pi that's actually coming with a case so I thought that I could mod the case to fit the uh, component to fit the SD2 IEC and all I literally did was um, with the, the Pi um, casing, there's a slot for uh, an SD card drive. So all I did was placed it in the right area, super glued this front edge. I also super glued um, the back edge onto just a small piece of plastic that I got in the house. And you can see there's a screw there as well. I also screwed the, the actual um, SD to IEC to the case. And that's it. So now if I close the case, try and do it with one hand. Here we go, the case is now closed. That's it, that's the unit. And it all complete. So if I put that by the side of my Commodore 64, and here's an SD card, it's just a cheap SD card that I happen to have in a camera. And I've put quite a few of my um, Hackersoft crazy uh, hacks straight onto the um, uh, SD card. So if you just plug that in, so there you go, that sits in nicely. And if you switch the Commodore 64 on, you'll see within it that the light, green light went on then. You probably didn't see it straight away. But what I'm gonna do now is put my computer on and it just comes on as it normally would do. And to load the directory of a disk, uh, you just do that, whoops, no you don't, excuse me, you do that, so that's loading all the files that are on that um, SD card and it's literally, I just put it in the root directory, I just dropped everything in there as you'll see, so that's everything on my SD card, those are all my Hackersoft files, I'm just going to put, oh, I won't put it down, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the smallest file, and just type load and then comma eight comma one and you can see that says load in so that's loading now so we'll leave that to load for a second so this the um, SD2 IE uh, cost me about 45 pounds um, I got it off the guy who's selling them on eBay at the moment he's selling them as kind of completed units with the wiring or you can do the soldering yourself I haven't got a clue how to solder can't solder to save my life um, and so I purchased it as a complete kit unfortunately he doesn't sell them with the cases but that doesn't matter oh by the way you can see the green light is on there so what I might do is get a Lego clear Lego brick that's loaded by the way and put one there and one there and then when it lights up you'll see it reflected so it's loaded and then all I do is just type run and you'll see there's a flashing, there we go. And that's what's loaded. How cool is that? Straight from an SD card. And literally with the Commodore 64 itself, there isn't, uh, you don't have to solder anything. You just literally plug that in there and plug that in there and you're ready to go. You don't even have to put it in a case but I've got it in the case. There you go, we've got Blagger that's loaded there. Crazy hack of Blagger. That's it. Uh, highly recommend it, cool piece of kit. Love it, we'll continue to use it. Um, and there you go.